Hello, welcome to my QuickBook training class. In this session, we are going to treat a somewhat similar kind of accounting question we did earlier on. Just the basics. Uh, let me just say part two. Okay, over here we see F14 begins to deal in typewriter starting with capital of 140. So I'm going to make use of uh, over here you see the currency will be in dollar I'm going to make use of like 140,000 or 18,000 27,000 just to make the illustration more uh, easier to understand okay now the question says F14 begins to deal in typewriters starting with capital of 140 in cash remember i told you for each transaction there are double entry you are debiting the receiver you are crediting the giver they have to balance that's why you have is like a balance sheet or you have asset on one side on the other side you have capital or loan okay or liability so now which one are we crediting and which one are we receiving uh debiting now you see starting with capital Ben uh, Watson is representing the capital, so it's given out, then cash is received. So we are going to head on to Jonah, just like we did go to company, make general Jonas. So now over here, we are going to select the dates. The dates should be first. Let's use first of um, May. Okay, first of January. Oh, we are in May, so let's just use May so that we follow up with the time okay so first of may well, cash in hand with how much 140 thousand uh being intro of capital so I might decide to create the name. The name here is Watson. So let me just have it as Watson. Okay. Uh, J. Watson. Okay. Uh, let me see. F. Watson. Okay. Uh, it's F. Watson. Okay. I'm doing that so that I can track my transaction on Watson, which is the owner. Now we are crediting the capital. So in this case, we have owner's contribution. You can name it capital. You can edit it and name it capital. You see an equity. The bottom line is an equity account. So any name you want to name it is left for you. So select what what's in. Then we hit save and close for that. Just like we did in the previous one. After every posting, we check the uh, profit and loss. Now we did not carry out any transaction, so we're not supposed to see anything here. Good. Uh, balance sheets definitely will have something in balance sheets. So we have cash in hand as 140 introduced from owner's contribution. Okay, now we'll go to statement of cash flow. Uh, this is where you can go to them. Company financial profit and loss balance sheet statement of cash flow. Now you can see there is owner's contribution of 140, the money going out, then uh, cash in hand receiving as 140. Remember, this is under financing activity. Okay, everything is captured. Now we'll go to the next item here. On January, I'll be using making use of me. He purchases four portable typewriters at 18 each paying cash down he paid so we are going to create uh, an invoice or receipt now since we are paying we have to create a receipt instead of an invoice because we are paying so i'm going to click on create sales receipt now where are we buying from did not specify so i'm going to make use of maybe george uh remember is the intent of me so i'm going to use of generally so i'm going to make use of tent okay 
<coughs> now deposit to cash in hand we've not had any bank or stuff but in quickbooks you recognize them as bank so anyone you want to so now we have to create we have bicycle but this one is typewriter we have to create so from here you can create add new you can click on add new or you go to list here and okay now inventory part if you are tracking the we want to track the typewriter i want to know how many we have we want to track it as inventory so uh typewriter if i get it correctly show the spelling uh typewriter okay uh if you have any manufacturing part number so uh um still typewriters so if there's any description you want to include you can still include or just copy that and then paste and also paste okay is it taxable we can say no this is purchase information uh just like if you want more explanation on that you can check use to this uh the previous uh, video i made on illustration okay the income should be on sales okay so we can go ahead and hit save and close uh, i mean okay so we've created that item now we don't have any so oh uh, yeah good uh, i think it's purchase i was supposed to do not says he purchases sorry so we're not supposed to make this of sales receipts we're supposed to make we're not selling now we are purchasing so uh, but not on credit with cash so if it if it be on credit we are going to use this uh platform but since it is with cash i'm going to write check straight so writing check now i'm paying from cash in hand uh on 10th of may so uh who am i paying to let me select a vendor let me see action enterprise my vendor then i select the item remember i have expense and item bar you select the item bar then you select typewriter now once you've selected typewriter the next thing you do is to include the quantity over here you see it's four four possible typewriter at 18 so i'm going to use four and eighteen thousand. okay four then eighteen thousand. so if i want to update no not should be that so you have seventy two thousand. uh okay the four of them at eighteen thousand. so here is going to be I can put 18,000 to definitely bring it to 4.5. Is the four of them that is at 18, 18 euro? So I'm using 18,000. Okay, once that is that done, we will go ahead and check save and close and check our report. Now I'm going to the report as usual. We have uh, profit and loss we did not sold, so we are not supposed to see anything, but it will still show us so that we see uh, that there is nothing available there okay go to balance sheet and um, balance sheet over here you see we have 140 still remaining but the asset is split into two 122 18 inventory and 122 so if you want to go to your inventory to see since we have we are tracking want to know you click on inventory here the valuation or stock status so they have one open here stock status so in stock status we have four on hand for typewriter now if you want to go to valuation, let's say you want the value of all you have, you can still go to inventory, valuation, summary. You see the price, cost price, and sales price in case you've sold. And this is where you have this information. Okay. Now the next uh, item here is on 14, it says one typewriter for 27. So I'm going to head on to sales. Now he says one typewriter for 27. So they did not tell us that it's on credit. So definitely should be on cash so we'll go to sales receipts because we are selling on cash so what are we selling to let's say lover boy uh date for the sales is um 14. so i'm gonna go ahead and select 14. now how many was sold uh one okay so i'm gonna hit typewriter here then one now how much uh again 27 so i'm gonna use 27 thousand for one so twenty seven thousand okay now once that is up we hit save and close then check our reports again now remember we sold on cash our, our cash is to increase 
we sold so we can check profit and loss now you see we sold 27,000 for one and the cost of sales is 4.5 making a whooping profit of 22,500 which we also translate to our balance sheet here uh, you see we have 22,500 down here okay now cash in hand has increased from 122 to 49 to 149 as a result of this uh, 22 uh, the 27,000 that came in so you see we have that then inventory asset has reduced because we sold and if you want to see about that you go to I remember we have to check cash flow so cash flow is everything is balancing to 149 net income of 22,500 from operating activity and still on operating activity we have 13,500 uh, inventory then over here owner's contribution is still 140 so at the end of the day we have a total of 149 which is in the bank which is supposed to be now go to inventory valuation summary you see now the uh as at this date okay okay uh we have three yeah then if you go to uh inventory stock status you see we have on hand three and we've sold okay if you go to report if you go to sales sales by item summary you see what you've sold we sold one capital at 27,000. The cost price is 4.5, and this is gross margin of 83.3%. Okay, now we we'll go back to the question again. On 16, it says two more typewriters each are uh, 30 uh, euro. So I'm going to create sales again, and this time around I will still say, let me say to George, and then um, on the dates should be 16. I'm going to hit on 16. Okay, now select the item on the item typewriter. Remember, it's two extra that was sold, but at how much? At 30. So I'm going to use 30,000. Remember, we're using them in thousands. Okay, so I'm going to hit save and close. The same thing and the same report. So we'll check profit and loss. Everything is adjusting accordingly. We check balance sheet everything is also adjusting accordingly okay then you see our inventory is reducing to by that amount you see we have four five now if you check cash flow we also have a similar movement of that transaction okay going to the next on 17th it buys one another typewriter for cash 20 euro okay so we're going to uh buy this remember it's not on credit so i had to check um paying from cash so uh we have one vendor here yaxin so it's on 17 i guess yeah 17 okay so let's hit 17 then select that same item typewriter uh how many um, uh he buys another typewriter for cash 20 so let's since it is not specified, it means it's one. So bought one uh, for twenty uh, thousand. Remember, we are making use of thousand. Let me check if we have everything correct. Twenty, yeah, twenty. And okay, so we hit save and close. Now that is how we keep our record. So by the end of the day, I'm going to check our uh, uh, report to show us everything. Now twentieth, it says the two remaining typewriters for 50 euro <clears> the <throat> 50 euro okay remember he bought four sold one and two remaining one he bought another one now he's selling the two for 50 euro okay so we go to uh sales and sell to george and the date is um, 20th so this is how you record those transaction uh typewriter so we put two now if we were to put three to tell us that we are short of it you can see 
is telling us we are out of it, okay? We are not selling three, we are selling two, rather. Uh, at how much? Uh, at 50, okay? Now I'm going to use 50,000, then save and close. Now the next transaction is 21st. It pays 15 euro cash for advertising and other sundry expenses. Now it's like a singular transaction. They did not break it down. So I'm going to create an expense called advertising and other sundry expenses. Okay. Now how do I do that? I'm going to have to you can go to list chart of account or go to uh, company chart of account or even create it while uh, writing check okay so here i click on new uh, okay then click on expenses then you name it as we have it here advertising and other sundry expenses so advertising and other sundry if it will contain expenses okay let's just leave it that way other other sundry expenses okay so save and close now we have that so i can go back home and write check because we are paying for that so we are paying from on 21st so i'm going to select 21st now we are under items i'm going to go ahead and select expenses if we have who are, the company we are paying this to we'll write we'll create them here so that we can track payments made to those persons then and if you don't have you can leave it blank then we'll click on that expense tab remember this time around is not item expense tab then we'll click on adverts so remember we are okay we won't have advertising and promotion before but i want to make use of this information we have here okay select that now for how much i think 15 euros i'm going to make use of 15 uh, thousand then you can put the description also then at the end of the day you save and close now the question now says make the necessary entries to record this transaction in f watson ledger we've done that so just for us to pull out our report so at the end of the day between 1st of May to 31st of May, this is the sales we've made. You can double click to see the transactions. To so overboy George Christ mode, George Christ mode, the tracked by Priter, and that, okay? And the type, which is sales receipts, okay? Now, the cost of selling this 187 is 38, giving us an expense again of 15 so we're having a net income of 134 going straight to balance sheet you see we have net income of 134 down here our owner's contribution is 3140 and now we have cash in hand of 274 okay and we don't have inventory because we've sold out okay we can confirm that by going to inventory stock status you see we have none but we have six per week, C1.1. Okay. Inventory summary valuation. Uh see we don't have anything also. Then going to statement of cash flow. You see at the end of the day we still arrive at uh 274, which is similar with what we have cash in hand. Okay, this is just a rough simple kind of accounting question. I know we already know how to undo, but I just want to uh give us more insights and at least most of those students uh using this avenue to also train a uh, little of accounting bookkeeping and also uh quickbooks accounting software hope you guys understand and enjoy this uh session if you like this video please like uh click on the like button you can subscribe to my youtube channel so that you uh, have chance of getting uh, updates on new videos as I upload them and also share my, uh, them to friends and family to promote this uh, 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 class that we're having. Hope to see you guys in my nice uh, class. Have a wonderful day. Bye. -bye.